is that a woman lost her life, okay, because of two mean dolls who killed her. Now, having said that, that's different from being able to prove a criminal case against someone. A grand jury declined to indict the owners of two dogs who viciously killed Clonda Ritchie. The 57-year-old woman was mauled to death outside of her Dayton home by her neighbor's two dogs back in February. After four days of testimony, the grand jury decided there was not enough evidence to charge Andrew Nason and Julie Custer with Clonda Ritchie's manslaughter. Now, area leaders say laws must be changed to ensure a brutal death like this never happens again. Alexandra Lewis joins us to tell us why officials say dog owners should face criminal charges in tragic cases like this one. Alex is live in Dayton with their push. Alex. Deb, while this couple could face some civil or even um, not criminal, but misdemeanor charges stemming from this incident, the county prosecutor says that simply isn't enough. These laws are too soft and they need to be strengthened to really ref reflect the seriousness of dog attacks so sad she never really bothered anybody so it was kind of sad and devastating it changed changed the neighborhood Clonda Ritchie's neighbor says East Bruce Avenue hasn't been the same since the 50 year old's brutal death and the fact that the dog's owners won't face criminal charges is beyond upsetting it doesn't say that her life meant nothing but it, it just sheds a different kind of light. City leaders happen to agree with Young and say the tragic death has brought flawed dog owner laws to light. It is um, somewhat concerning that the law is inadequate to address the seriousness of this event and the very tragic way in which he died. County officials say more stringent laws are needed to protect victims like Richie. Changing local and state laws to make dog owners more responsible for their pets is the only way to get justice in the future. It's time for legislators or elected officials to take immediate action to make amendments to the law and to ensure that dog owners are held responsible <clears throat> Uh, and with serious enough penalties to go along with that. Local leaders are asking for a stricter and more easily accessible dangerous dog registry and new fines and criminal penalties against owners of dogs that cause physical harm to anyone. Sometimes it's looked at like that that's okay and it's quite devastating. There's children and it could have happened really to anyone. And hopefully the legislatures and the legislator, legislature will work on this and speedily take care of this. Officials are also working at ground level. There will be a two-day seminar coming in October where all of the local police officials, as well as, as well as Animal Patrol, they'll get some new training to rev up those skills as far as future attacks with dogs. Reporting live here in Dayton, Alexandra Lewis, Fox 45 News.